Hey peeps, and welcome back to another episode of a game called Rogue. So, I've been doing lots of practicing, I've been playing this game a lot, and bottom line, RNG sucks. <laughs> um, so, but that's kind of what we expect from a roguelike. So, I've learned a little bit, so I'm hoping we can get a little bit further. I've been able to get down as far as level 9 in my practice rounds. I like just playing this in the evening, playing a few rounds. For instance, this situation, I can see that the jackal and kobold up at the top are sleeping, but the rat and the kobold at the bottom are wandering. So if I hide there for a second, he's still wandering. I peek out, and I was able to dispatch those pretty quick, pretty easily without much risk to myself. Okay, so that jackal's wandering. Now, can I do the same thing? Okay, he's wandering up that way. I think, although I'm not 100% sure, but I think walking through the grass... Oh, that jackal's hunting me. I'm going to move away from the kobold because the sound of the fight will likely wake him up. Okay, that jackal is still wandering. Oh, the jackal's hunting us. Well, oh, we're kind of stuck in our position where we are. And we woke the kobold up, which is fine. We'll be able to dispatch him pretty quick. Grab that. Let's go get the scroll up here. Okay, so he is sleeping. Nope, he's hunting us. That's fine. We, we can pretty much handle anything on the first couple of levels, uh, enemy-wise, as long as we don't get surrounded or overwhelmed. Go through the swamps here. Okay, they're at sleeping. Uh, now, if I hit the S button, I can search this room to see if there's a secret passageway, which there's not. Not much in there. Okay, stairs are down there. We're not going to go that way right now. Let's go back up over here. And see. Ah, that's what I was hoping to find. So we've got a locked door, so we got to find the key. Another scroll. We're not going to mess with those right now. Pretty much not going to mess with them until my packs are too full, because something that I've noticed um, is some potions and scrolls are more common than others. So I can get a pretty good idea of what they're going to do without, if I, if I let myself collect a few. So if you look now, we only have two of each. Um, I do want to use that hemlock staff and I should have used it then. Because I want to know what that does as quickly as possible and it will recharge. Hmm. We must have a potion of levitation or that there's a door over there so let's go okay here's a good chance to use our hemlock staff oops we didn't hit it is what happened there it's uh, a staff of entrancement which is actually going to be a very good tool for us and I'm very happy to see that that we don't need to use that staff we probably most likely won't use it again okay so one of the potions that we've got so we've cleared out the entire map one of the potions that we have has got to be a potion of levitation so we're gonna risk we're gonna we're gonna go with some risk here potion of hallucination okay so this must be a potion of levitation no it was a potion of strength So, there might be a pathway when I get the hallucinating over. I'm not sure how they expect us to get that. We could have a scroll of levitation. I really don't want to use... Okay. Scroll of Identify. So we're going to use that on our Staff of Enchantment, which tells us how uh, that that's worth knowing. And 
scroll of enchantment we're gonna use on our staff enchantment. So we have no levitation and we just used a bunch of our stuff. So my only other question is... No. We're gonna be hallucinating for a while. I think we're just gonna have to... There's... What is this? Torch there. Firm and unyielding. Well, I'm not really sure how to get around that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going. Oh, this is an interesting situation. Okay, so I don't know what that is. I have a pretty good guess it's a kobold and a monkey. We're gonna stand in this, oops, we're gonna stand in this doorway. And we should be able to defeat these guys pretty quickly. Okay. One thing I am gonna do is let myself heal up here. Yes. Free the grateful phoenix egg. It's not actually a phoenix egg. We're just still hallucinating. It'll be, it'll be good when our hallucinations are done and over with. Black potion? The nice thing is we have identified the potion of strength. Oh wait, what else have we got in our inventory? Nothing. Okay, that's our ally. I believe. Yeah. We won't ever attack our ally. What are you? Go up here. Nope. So, okay, we're finally done hallucinating. It is a pet monkey, which I kind of figured already. Plate armor. Okay, so I don't think that we're strong enough to no, we're not going to wear that because we're not strong enough yet. Okay, there's a jackal up here. No. He came to say hi. So we're going to kind of want to protect our monkey. Crap. I think our monkey's dead. Yeah. That didn't last very long. That's okay. Monkeys aren't honestly the best ally in my limited experience. Um, and unless we had... Okay, another scroll of enchanting. We're not going to use it on anything right now. A brown potion. Uh, no. Let's not. Just hoping we can get another... Ooh, there's another monkey. That's too bad that we didn't end up with two of them. So we can just take these guys on one by one. Get that turquoise potion. Do we already have a turquoise potion? Must have been a different color. Let's free the monkey. call it good for this level. Let's just check this room. We see a rat all the way over there. We see a rat over here. And we dispatch him. Okay. Down to depth three. This is where we got to start being a little more cautious. How's the monkey's health? Eh, the monkey could use a blood wart bath, so let's give him that. Okay. As I was saying, this is where we need to be a little more cautious. So if we can, throw that there, and we're gonna go explore the other way for a little bit. Not really, 
because there's nowhere to explore. We might just have to chill out. I think we can go up this way, though. That one's already gone. I don't last very long. <sighs> okay. If we can dispatch this goblin conjurer, that would be amazing. Nope. Crap. Alright, we gotta back up. No, monkey! Our monkey is doing something stupid. I should have used the Staff of Entrainment so I could get up on him. That's what I should have done. No. Oops. Okay, let's use the Staff Entrainment on the Goblin Conjurer. How's our monkey? His health is okay right now. Not anymore. Okay, well, we're in a good position that we can throw some darts. If we can kill the conjurer. Sting a lot of darts, but it got rid of the, the stuff, and our monkey is healing. We can take care of that rat ourselves, no problem. So, as I said, I've been learning a little bit about the game just by it really requires you just playing it a lot. Like, I've been wa I watched a, another YouTube series, somebody going through, and that helped a little bit, but it really just requires you playing and learning what decisions are good and what are bad. Stupid monkey. Always having to save the monkey. Now there is a staff that I can get or a wand I can get that will allow me to make my monkey stronger. Uh, no, I probably shouldn't. Oh, crap. Monkey! Well, it's a moot point because our monkey is gone. I can't get past there. Alright. Goblin. We shall avenge our monkey. Ooh, my health is getting a little bit low, so we're gonna use our staff of entrapment. We're gonna go up here a little bit. Did I see a blood wart anyway? All the way back here. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to just risk it. Alright. Well, we survived, so all's well in love and war, right? Oh, oh no, that's all fair. Ah, there we go. So I used the search key, uh, which is S, to find that. And I think that we're gonna pretty be pretty close to calling it an episode here. We might be able to wrap up this level first. Let's take care of the jackal. There's some food up here, which is very important. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go heal up. Okay. Now, if we need to, we can take on that goblin conjurer. Oh crap. Eels, not a good, not a good plan to mess with those right now. Okay, so we're gonna do this manually, so we don't have to mess with an eel. As you see, it does quite a bit of health, to, or deals quite a bit of damage to us. Oh, was it the upstairs? I didn't realize we hadn't even found the downward staircase. Um, I don't think there's anything interesting over there, so we're gonna go ahead and descend. We don't need to kill, go after that Goblin Conjurer at this point. What I'd really like to do is get a Wand of Domination. Okay, we still don't have the strength to wield that. There's a Goblin. I'm 
no, that's a kobold. We were able to dispatch him quietly. Monkey, or the rat was wandering, but now it's not. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here. So, uh, I'm hoping that we'll do a lot better. We're already in depth four. As I said, I've been able to make it down to depth like eight or nine. I'm getting a little bit better. I don't think we're gonna be able to win the game. Um, I don't think it's likely at my skill level, but we are definitely gonna try our hardest. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. And we will see you next time on Broke. Bye-bye.